morning. Today, I started my period for the first time in approximately a century. So that's good. But that means today, we're going to be doing a candy review video. Lock up your daughters. I'm gonna go to the store. Thank you for waiting so long for me. I'm sorry it took forever, but I had to go to every store in town to find the things I was looking for. So, you've been anxiously awaiting long enough. Let's get into a review of Smart Sweets. Let's explain the premise of this video. If you haven't seen them around the internet, these things called Smart Sweets, which is the brand, have become pretty popular within the realm of influencers. You know, like me, obviously. And right now, there are only four flavors, or four types of candy. And the candies are a take on gummy bears. Then we have Sour Patch Kids. Then we have Swedish Fish and Peach Rings. So, why are these called healthy? Well, for Peach Rings, for example, they have only three grams of sugar per bag. Ooh. So, we're going to start off with the Peach Rings. Unboxing. Ooh. All right, so this is gonna be the most important part. We're gonna give this close up. Okay, I like the looks of them. So, it has that nice sugary, <laughs> sugary outer coating on it, and it has nice color. And I'm gonna take just a bite because it's about texture, flavor, mouthfeel satisfaction. That's what we're ranking it on. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so at first the texture is good, and then it gets like way too sticky. Like that's not a peach ring texture. The flavor, I'm gonna be honest, is not good. Like it tastes like peach iced tea almost, but if you put a bunch of like stevia in your peach iced tea, and I don't like sweet iced tea anyway, I have to finish it. Or else, what am I here for? Like the texture is almost satisfying, which is not what I want in a peach ring. Mm -hmm. Out of the three categories, here's my ranking for the peach rings. Category one, flavor. Honestly, five out of 10. Second category, texture. The texture I'm gonna get a six out of 10 because even though it's not like a normal peach ring, it's like, it's pretty good, you know? It's like, it's very chewy, it sticks to your teeth, and sometimes you just want that, and so that's why I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Then the third category, mouthfeel satisfaction, I'm going to give also a six out of 10. So, to do the maths, out of 30, the peach rings from Sweet, no, what is it? Smart Sweets has 17 points out of 30 could be better. I'm not gonna eat another one right now because I like didn't love that. So cleansing my palette with the real boys. Stay hydrated folks, it's really important for your health, your dignity, your life, everything, your mental state. I'll stay hydrated. <sighs> but I'm really excited for the next smart suite because that happens to be ASMR. 
Okay, we're done with the ASMR. I was never good at it in the first place. The Swedish Fish Smart Sweets have three grams, grams of sugar per bag. Really impressive. Let's give it a go. Remember, three categories are flavor, texture, mouthfeel, satisfaction. Mmm. Wait just a minute. Wow, it doesn't have that weird, it has a little bit of a weird aftertaste, but barely. It's just like, kind of just barely there in like the back of your tongue. The texture is very similar to the real thing. Really good job with that texture. I also kind of have the same sensation where it's like sticking to my teeth a little too much, but I'm not complaining. In this case, it's actually pretty good. I feel good about that candy. Yum, yum. Okay, that was much better than the peach rings. I'm gonna give them that. So let's get into it. Flavor, seven out of 10. I said it's seven, that's 70%. That's a solid C minus, that's not bad. But I think the flavor was good. It didn't have like a gross artificial aftertaste. I thought the texture was pretty spot on. The texture I'm gonna get to give an eight out of 10 because nothing can come close to the Swedish fish texture, which is a 10 out of 10. Third is mouthfeel satisfaction. And I'm going to give that also a seven out of 10. Very satisfied after eating, but the problem is it's still like literally stuck in my little molars. And so I don't really enjoy that personally, but I do feel like I just ate a real piece of candy, which is very satisfying for my tum. And so, Overall, let's do the maths. That's going to be, what is it, a seven to seven and an eight? A 22 out of 30, which compared to the peach rings, which was a 17 out of 30 is pretty darn good, I'd say. The Swedish fish were incredible. All right, next, what are we gonna do next, guys? Next, we're going to do the Sour Patch Kids, because I'm the most excited for the gummy bears and I think you should stay and watch for the gummy bears because supposedly they have like a bunch of protein in them. And so I'm personally quite excited for that. So let's crack open these Sour Patch Kids. They also have three grams of sugar per bag. Crack them open and let's look at it. Oh, they're so little though. Oh my gosh, they are in the little Sour Patch Kids shape, which I think is really cute. I think for copyright reasons, they can't call them actually Sour Patch Kids, so they call them Sour Blast Buddies. So, same thing. But they're cute, they're in the same shape, they're just a little bit smaller than the real Sour Patch Kids. They have a good bounce to them, which I'm really excited about. <sighs> Let's bite into her. not very sour. Mmm. I actually kind of like the texture of these ones. They're not sticking as much. They have more of like a solid gummy texture where you're just like chewing and then they kind of dissolve. Um, I feel good about the rating on this one so let's get into it. Taste. Not sour enough and not a lot of flavor I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for flavor. Ooh. For texture, eight out of 10, babies. Eight out of 10. I'm enjoying the texture of these, to be honest. They are satisfying and they don't stick too much to your mouth or your teeth, which is good if you're gonna go like on a date afterwards, you smile. <gasps> There's not Sour Patch Kids in your teeth, you're a winner. That's what we're looking for. And for the third category, mouthfeel satisfaction. Seven out of 10. I didn't feel like I was compromising with these as much as I did with like the peach rings. And so that means, what did I give it a five and a seven and an eight? Oh shoot. I'll have to play it back and see, but I think I gave it five for flavor, eight for texture, seven for mouthfeel satisfaction. And so, that means 20 out of 30. That's pretty good right there. 
20 out of 30 for these guys if I messed up my um, counting at the end and it um, does not correlate with what I said in the first place I'm sorry I forgot to remember what I was saying for the Sour Patch Kids last one gummy bear time let me cleanse smart sweet gummy bears the cool thing about these is they have four grams of sugar which is one more than the other bags but they also have four grams of protein per bag which you never see in candies obviously because it's just sugar and carbs but these they happen to add a few grams of protein per serving which I think is really cool and so I'm excited to try these boys also gummy bears are like my favorite candy I know it's basic but I just love a gummy bear there there's just something about them let's crack them open Ooh, they also have a nice little powder on them which I'm assuming is like stevia hmm at first the texture is like good the flavor is just throwing me off though it the flavor the flavor is just like stevia and monk fruit i don't taste anything but those two things the flavor is going to get a four out of ten so sorry smart sweets but no it's not good here um the texture 8.5 out of 10. I'm sorry, I just couldn't quite get it a 9, but the texture was pretty good in these. I'm going to give it an 8.5. It did not stick to my teeth at all. It was a very solid texture, which I enjoy, um, and it was very different from the other ones. Shows their range, if you will, in their candy making. And mouthfeel satisfaction. This is a tough one because when the flavor is bad, you don't really feel satisfied as far as your mouth goes. But when the texture is good, Feel more satisfied so final final taste test I'm gonna close my eyes I'm pretending I'm just popping in some candy it's Halloween day mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes yes I know the perfect ranking seven out of ten seven out of ten it's a little too solid for a gummy bear if somebody gave me this as a gummy bear, I'd be like, that's the worst gummy bear I've ever had. But the mouthfeel, I'd be like, okay, like it feels like I'm eating a weirdly hard gummy bear. Therefore, 7 out of 10. So, total, we're going to be doing 4 for flavor, 8.5 for texture, and 7 for mouthfeel satisfaction, which gives us a grand total of... 19.5 that's not too bad I'd say not too bad at all but it did not quite live up to the ranking of 22 for these beautiful little fish so these are the winners but to make sure my ranking was fair for the gummy bears let's crack into these this holy grail of candy Black Forest Gummy Bears. If you're a Haribo, or whatever you pronounce that, fan, no. Black Forest, I know it's controversial, but Black Forest Gummy Bears are the best. Got it. The best of the best. The best. Mmm. That's the texture I was looking for. It's like bouncy. When you're chewing it, it's satisfying. You're not like chewing it to get it over with. Like I was with the peach rings. Flashback to that. But you're chewing it because you're enjoying it and it's a good experience for you and your mouth and your stomach and your soul and your body and your mind and your spiritual situation. These gummy bears, guys, 
Black Forest Gummy Bears, 30 out of 30. I don't even need to go through the taste, texture, mouthfeel, satisfaction ranking. You know it's all 10 out of 10 out of 10. 30 out of 30. But these were the best out of the Smart Sweets category. Just try these. The other ones I wouldn't recommend. But these ones I would honestly recommend. They're really good. I would actually, I might buy these again. But honestly, if I want candy, I'm just going to go get the real thing, snack on a few, whereas if these, I might eat the whole bag and not be fully satisfied with what I wanted. But I would recommend these to my beautiful viewers out there. Anyway, that's it for this video. Happy holidays. I would like to ask you, please, for me and Black Forest Gummy Bears, for me and smart sweets and those disgusting peach rings please give me a like please subscribe thank you so much go get some black forest gummy bears and some swedish fish smart sweets and have happy holidays guys i love you all so much that is completely genuine i love you have a good day Guys, it's right after the video, um, and I just like ate two more peach rings, and I'm really confused because I kind of like them now. And so I'm so confused. What's happening to me? I kind of like them, but I still don't recommend them. Anyway, I love you. Have a good day. But the peach rings might be okay. Oh no, try them too. Mm -hmm.